what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today i'm trying to get some reactions done man and vikings is one of those things i haven't done in a week so i'm gonna try to get out an episode to you guys um for tomorrow I'm gonna react to it right now so we know what's going on man season four episode two you know um i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen here because bjorn has left um Kattegat, um not that ragnar wanted him to leave then we have rollo over there over over in paris killing all the men that they left over there um <laughs> what's going on i think the most badass thing that happened was <laughs> Lagatha, um she cut <laughs> dude's balls off you know what i'm saying like that that was epic um well deserved by the way he deserved to get his nuts cut off man that dude don't know what to keep his loyalty to he's in love with Lagatha and because he couldn't get her now he's trying to tell her oh let's let's get her out and i knew i knew that um the earl um what is it calf i knew he was going to do that man i called it i knew that's what he was going to do the minute that scene started because you can't help but but fall for luck at the man you can't you can't help it you know what i'm saying it's, it's just it's just what has to happen you know what i mean it just what's have to happen man when it comes on to her i mean still t still till now i still think that i mean it's like she's number one judith is number two as two most beautiful women in the show um but to each his own to each his own i think helga's helga's coming in at a strong third you know um her sister is a strong fourth um so um it's it's cool it's cool man you know it's nothing wrong with seeing women and having in a show and having a small crush i have a huge crush on lagatha you guys know that but anyways we're gonna jump into this episode to see what is going to be happening now that bjorn is not there um i don't know man let's go see what's gonna happen and i will see you guys for the review talk about a beautiful episode of TV show, man. That was well structured, as always, man. Starting out the se the the season with a bang. I don't know what's going to happen now. That I think I think Ethel Wolf is gonna end up with Quinford. I think I don't know if that's what they're setting up, but I kind of feel it coming. I think he had some sort of feelings towards it because of what was happening with Judith and stuff. Um you know he did say he's beginning to trust judith again um so but i think in this in this episode when it comes on to what been going on back home with Kattegat, um i'm not for certain things and it, it just in my life experience and stuff like that and a lot of people is going to say you just have to accept it for what it is because it was it's supposed to represent back in the day and stuff like that and there were two things that happened in this episode that I, I I don't like seeing it at all, regardless of what time period it is. It's not about it's it's it, it, you can understand it, but you don't have to accept it. You get what I'm saying? So him hitting Oslog, I did not like it. I'm not for that stuff. I don't believe men should hit women at all, um, unless as I've said before, because I've said this before during. When I was doing my Game of Thrones reactions, you know, I, I said this basically is that when a woman is like slapping you around, slapping a man, a man around, a man has the right to defend himself. Give her one good hit and don't don't ball your fist up. No need for that. You can open hand slap a woman. I do believe that a man can do that. If they're pushed to that limit, as in if the if the woman hits you, if a woman hits you, I feel like you should have the right to hit a woman back. If you can take it, though, then take it. You get what I'm saying? If you can take it, if they're not hurting you, there's no need to retaliate. But if like a woman like they use something and hit you with, you know what I'm saying? Like a 
like a frying pan or something of the sort because you know women they like to go for the weapons you know sometimes they'll hope that you know they'll punch you or, or whatever it is that i'm talking this from i'm talking to you guys about this from experience because a woman has hit me before like maliciously not out of joke not playing she hit me in the face twice okay and pretty much that resulted in my marriage ended because i was like you just crossed the line i know if i hit you i'm going to jail they're not even gonna come and ask the question to know if you hit first they're gonna put me in jail if i hit you so i just didn't do it so um so that pretty much ended my marriage so i don't agree at all with men hitting women just out of the mere fact that they might you know say something so that's why i disagree with what Ragnar did you get what i'm saying she just had something to say just killed a mere christian and, and ragnar is still to this day upset and he wants floki to admit that he killed out of jealousy and it had nothing to do with the gods telling him or whatever the situation is so he's just upset about it but still i don't agree with him hitting aslog he hit her twice open-handed slaps of of course um but I, I still don't agree with it, you know, because she didn't she didn't hit him. You know what I'm saying? She didn't hit him. You know, she was just up in his face, you know. So I don't agree with that. The other thing that I don't agree with is I don't accept um, that happened in the episode. Even though I know this, they're trying to portray as close to how things were back then. I am in 100% when it, when it comes on to um, seeing that, believing that that's how it used to be. But I also don't have to accept it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, King Edbert is still up to something. I just don't know what it is. Him and Prince Aetherwolf is up to something. I don't know what it is. But we're going to find out very soon. So we have um, the situation that happened at the end of the episode. Um, and that's why I said I have much respect. Never will lose respect for Ragnar, man. Um, he did one thing that I didn't like. Which is hidden... Hitting Aslog out of anger, I did not like that because she didn't do anything to deserve him hitting her like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't agree with that. But other than that, he's still a real one. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, he, he, he you know, for him to do that, I don't know if they're also setting up a relationship between him and Helga because he went to check on her earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like earlier in the episode, and then at the end, he went to check on her again to find out that the daughter is dead. Um, they went and they found Floki. He really wanted him to admit stuff, but he didn't still. Um, so now he's being punished, and he's still not killing him. Ragnar does not want to kill Floki because he still considers Floki a friend. And that's the thing that's keeping him from making that final decision. He wants him to be punished and he wants him to admit of what he did. Um, but I don't think he's going to get that answer. I really don't think he's going to get it. But at the same time, we're here. We're here. For, you know, I, I, I love that dude, man. But at the same time, Rolo is getting laughed at over in Paris. You have the girl that was messing with the count. He, um, the, um, that girl is a spy for somebody else over there. And I think... The princess is warming up to Rolo. I mean, she's laughing with him now and stuff. And I think she kind of respects him in a certain in a certain way because, you know, of what he what he did, taking out the rest of the Northmen and stuff like that, betraying his own kind. And I think she's gonna warm up to him, as I've said. Um, I think it was the, at the end of last season, or was it last episode I said I I I think I saw, I said that. I don't remember exactly. But I did say I think she's gonna warm up to him because of what he did, you know what I'm saying? And also because, you know, he didn't force himself on her um, to consummate the marriage, which is cool. We all know Rolo is a good guy when it comes on to, to women. He's not a terrible person when it comes to women. Like, he's only a monster when he's fighting. So, all right, what's going on, guys? Um, this is probably going to seem strange because it's going to... Um, I don't know. It's weird because I decided to do episode three 
later on in the day so it's a different time i did do a review for episode two so i'm probably just going to attach this on to it so if you're watching this just know that this part of it is just for episode three um so yeah man i'm glad first and foremost i'm glad that ragnar chose not to kill floki i'm wondering if he if ragnar is going to tell him what happened though you know what i'm saying like basically athelstan appeared basically in a dream i want to say a dream but it's like a uh it's more like a, a, a woken dream i don't know what do you call those things when you you have those kind of encounters while you're you know you're awake it's not really sleepwalking i want to say it's that it's kind of like a daydreaming i guess like i guess daydreaming you would call it um so athelstan appeared blow to both to king Edbert and ragnar basically he confirmed to king Edbert that he's dead because we know king Edbert genuinely really liked athelstan um and Ragnar, he, he, you know, he was just an uh, um, a irreplaceable friend. You know what I'm saying? Talking about unconditional love between the both of them, that's what that is, man. That's what real friendship is. I loved their connection. Their chemistry on the show was out of this world awesome. And I loved it. And to, I hated the fact that they killed him. And I'm glad that they kind of... In every way, in every way, such way, you can see that Athelstan actions really does affect how Ragnar do things, even though Athelstan is gone. So, um, looking forward to more of that if he's going to have more encounters with Athelstan. Of course, I, I don't know if he's going to tell Floki that w that's what happened, but... I'm happy nonetheless that he decided to let Floki go. As I've said multiple times before, I don't think Ragnar is going to kill Floki. He had so many chances to do it and he's keeping him alive, punishing him. But because Athelstan appeared to him, he's like, listen, man, basically, you know, he's not going to admit to it. So just have mercy on him. It's understandable what he did why he did it and all of this other stuff it's also there's a there, there's, there's there was some jealousy there there was some jealousy there you know what i'm saying on floki's part there was some jealousy there even though he probably thought that the gods told him to kill athelstan there was some jealousy there there was he done it over some selfish reasons so um the situation that's brewing with you know, Judith wanting help and, you know what I'm saying, you know, she wants to learn. And I, you know, um, I'm all for the Quinn Threat Aether Wolf relationship. I'm going to tell you guys why I'm all for it. Um, It's a situation where I agree. I don't mind it because he got cheated on. He got cheated on with Judith. So, hey. He wants some booty, let him get some booty, man. And, you know, Quintrit is that girl that always willing to give up the booty. So, <laughs> why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's not disgusting or any other way. I love how, you know, how old she is and her sex drive is still there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's nothing wrong with that as long as, you know, how he had contracting disease and stuff. It's all good. And... You know, uh, I that part where he was struggling with that one soldier was just so hilarious in episode, in episode two, man. It was hilarious. Don't tell me you didn't laugh, because I'll be laughing. Because, I mean, he's supposed to be the prince. He's supposed to be their leader, you know, out here leading these troops. And he's struggling with one guy, and Quintet is up there fighting off these two, two women. You know what I'm saying? He, she almost got killed, but he arrived in time and killed that lady, so... But anyways, man, um, I don't have much to say on this second episode. I'm just looking forward to the next. Um, they sent someone, Calvin, uh, um, what's his name again? Um, uh, King Ulrich's son, Erlinda. Erlinda, Erlinda, <laughs> right? Um, they sent someone to go kill Bjorn. Bjorn is out here fighting bears, you know what I'm saying? Like, he out here really living this kind of wildlife kind of stuff. 
him going skinny dipping in 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 a ice lake is another thing I don't get. I know people actually do that, but it's so weird to me. <laughs> you know, I hate the cold, so I don't know how somebody could really brave that. You know what I'm saying? So that that's cool if you're diving in there to like save somebody or something of the sort, but bruh, <laughs> to to do that willingly. I don't know, <laughs> you know, he, but anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, thank you guys for all the love and the support you give on these videos, man. So make sure you subscribe. If you're new, leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. See boy terror by reacts. Just remember gratitude is never enough. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace. Uh...